Jonathan Fahey, former ICE director, former federal prosecutor. Jonathan, good morning. Picking up where Brooke just left off, what do you make of this protest yesterday? 17 members of Congress were arrested, but the image that is most memorable, of course, is the one where AOC had her hands behind her back as if she were in handcuffs. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, just it's like one more political stunt after another. And, you know, the AOC Houdini Act with the handcuffs is really offensive to in so many ways. You know, you, you think of uh, our law enforcement officers out there, and, and particularly in Washington, D.C., where crime is going through the roof, and law enforcement officers have to become props in a stunt for AOC, basically being mocked. Um, and it's really, it's really awful. It, it's like they can make their point on the abortion issue without you know, getting arrested or doing other things and without taking up the time of law enforcement. And it, it really, you know, the points you were making earlier, it really is distracting from the issues that really impact uh, the American public much more greatly and much more immediately. And it just shows that the, these politicians are just, particularly AOC, is just fundamentally unserious. It really harkens back to the, you know, when she was outside, you know, pretending to cry about when they called them kids in cages a few years ago at the, with the, uh, when, when mm. Trump was president with the border issues. And, and it, again, I think the American people have much more serious things on their plate and they wish the politicians would be paying attention to them. Yeah, absolutely. She She's a performance artist. Next is coming interpretive dance, I fear. Uh, but I think, on the whole, these illegal protests show that the Democrats, on the whole, aren't willing to let something as silly as, quote unquote, the law shut them down when they're trying to prove a point. Along those lines, the left wing group shut down D.C., who previously offered cash payments for tips on the location of Supreme Court justices, is now aiming to shut down this year's congressional baseball game. Here's what they tweet, Jonathan. We disrupted Brett Kavanaugh's steak dinner, and we will disrupt the congressional baseball game. The monsters tearing apart our country deserve no peace. If hundreds of us turn out to the congressional baseball game this month and risk arrest, there's a real chance we could shut this whole thing down. Sign up to be there. Again, we probably should not expect tact and decorum from these people, but how low is it? considering that just five years ago, Steve Scalise was almost killed preparing for this very baseball game. Exactly right. It, it, it's really hard to believe. To say this is in you know bad taste is really just a, the understatement of the century. And you know we've talked about this before. This would be a really great opportunity for for the president, the administration, members of the Democratic Party to say, hey, we need to stop, uh, uh, cool the temperature here, and to be a leader. To, uh, and to your point, respect respect the rule of law, respect our institutions, because there is value in these institutions. And if we say they're illegitimate every time we get we don't get our way, meaning their way, then then, then they're never going to be considered uh, legitimate. But they're essentially encouraging violence, or at least encouraging a situation where violence may occur. And their, their ideas of protest are really intimidation, because th what they're doing with the Supreme Court justices is so far out of bounds. And it's amazing that this administration has not even said anything to say, hey, there's something wrong with protesting in front of people's houses, in their neighborhoods, and to try to disrupt events and to encourage people that may commit violence, and then at some point to take if, if violence does occur to sort of suggest they have nothing to do with it is really it's really disgraceful but there are so many opportunities for this administration to really to lead on this issue to, to say we're above this and respect our institutions and certain things are out of bounds and we'll condemn them but they won't do that and it just shows how you know far to the left this administration has been taken whether on their own or whether by the, the left of the party and I don't think it really matters why they're doing it yeah and um, to be clear this this particular shutdown D.C. protest um, is over climate change, and they're angry at both Republicans and Democrats for not passing climate change as a legislation. Uh, but Todd just read the tweet. As a, a former member of DHS yourself, do you read those words as a violent threat, or is this more all talk, no action? Well, you know, if you say no peace, you know, what what is the op you know, the opposite of peace is violence. So it certainly is on the line of encouraging violence. It is is what they're saying illegal per se? No, but it does seem like what they're doing is saying not just come, not just protest, uh, but to come and, and to make sure this is painful, uncomfortable, and again, if if 
it's a situation where violence could occur, and, and again, leaders should step up and say something about this, but, but it certainly is on the line, and people should be aware of this, especially what's going on with the Supreme Court justices, uh, you know, with, yeah. with what happened with Brett Kavanaugh several weeks back, and, and they really should take this seriously. But again, it's an opportunity to lead for this administration. Absolutely. They should take advantage Every of it. Every threat should be taken seriously. Jonathan Fahey, thank you so much for joining us once again. We appreciate it. Thanks, Jonathan. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.